So this isn't gonna be a comprehensive review of all of the muscles you need to know. You have that, there's three videos called muscle origins and insertions or muscle attachments or something. Um, I can link it to this video where I go through everything. This one, I wanna highlight just a, several muscles that I thought were a little trickier on the practical. And what I wanna do is start by just making sure you can see where you are and how you start knowing what to look for. So for example, this view, the first thing you should see is this is an anterior view, right? We can see the guy's face. Um, so you're gonna have any muscles that you have on the anterior of your body may be helpful. So here, let's start with this. This is the deltoid. It actually is seen from a posterior view as well. It wraps around the entire shoulder. So its origin is gonna be along the clavicle as well as the scapular spine in back. And the insertion is on the deltoid tuberosity. The pectoralis major is right next to that. This big one right here that originates along the clavicle and sternum, just like that. Lastly, on this side, we have the biceps brachii. And you can tell that because again, this is an anterior view. Biceps are in front and that's gonna be flexion. Over on this side, you don't need to know all of these. You've got the coracobrachialis here. You've got only one more you need to know here. This guy underneath is the subscapularis. This is where you need to know it's an anterior view because that's how you know this is the subscapularis. It's underneath the scapula. And this is the only one that's going to um, insert onto the lesser tubercle of the humerus. Originates on that sub, um, subs, the <laughs> subscapular fossa. That's what you need to know from this view here. Next picture. If I can get us to the next slide here. There we go. Okay, this one, what view are we looking at here? That's the first thing you need to figure out. And how do I know? Okay, here is my spine, my scapular spine. So I'm looking at a posterior view. Oh, that's a big pen. Didn't mean to do that. So posterior view, that's gonna tell me what things I can see. So here we're gonna have the supraspinatus. We're gonna have the infraspinatus. This is above and below the scapular spine, which is what this thing is right here. We have also the teres minor, that last rotator cuff. Now, because this is the posterior view, that's everything on that side, yep. Um, because we had the posterior view, this is going to be our triceps brachii on the back side of the arm, the same side as the anconius. Those both are extensor muscles, bringing your arm back. And the lat one, lat, lat one <laughs> on this side, is going to be the latissimus dorsi. So first thing is you have to know what view you're looking at. Here, biceps brachii, right? Two heads, and this is the front view. You can see the clavicle there clavicle and no scapular spine is seen. So this is a anterior view. It's also a nipple. 
The other two in the front view here are going to, so again, this is an anterior view. You can see that from up here, clavicle, right? We've got the brachialis and the radiobrachialis. The radiobrachialis goes down the radius. Leg, what do you see if I show you this view? Okay, we've got three quadricep muscles here and they're, they're all originating from the, um, the femur. This means the rectus femoris has been removed from this view. We've got in the middle, the vastus intermedius. The rectus femoris sits on top of it, but it's cut away. Actually, this is the remnant of it, the rectus femoris. Vastus medialis is on the medial side, and then the vastus lateralis is on the lateral side. These all insert on the tibial tuberosity via the patella. The rectus femoris is on top of them. So we see that in a different view. Oops, I think I skipped one. There it is. No, shoot. Okay, rectus femoris will be on top of those. Here, switching views. This is the back view, right? This is the posterior side. And these are hamstring muscles. The one that goes, they all originate at the ischial tuberosity. And one of them crosses over and inserts on the fibula. This one is our biceps femoris. The other two, you can't really tell which is which in this view. I wouldn't actually ask you to because one of them is supposed to insert lower than the other. So I'm gonna label these just the same here. I would make it more obvious for you. The semimembranous and the semitendinosus. The semitendinosus is the one that inserts lower down. Again, on here, you can't really see which is which. Maybe this one's inserting a little bit lower down. So this is your tendinosis. The membraneus inserts more on that medial condyle. Let me see if I've got anything else for you. Here is another view of the, well, what is this? Hamstrings, right? Those same three. Biceps femoris, semimembranosus, and semitendinosus. What is this? One in here, just throwing this in. Can you tell what this is? This image is not as good as actually what you'd see under the microscope. Can you pick out something here that looks kind of like a butterfly? Yeah, this is a spinal cord cross section. And here up here, See those multipolar cells? Those are motor neurons in the anterior or ventral horn of the spinal cord. Beautiful. Okay. Please see the other videos for the rest of the muscles if you want to see. That was a lot of them though, right there.